So everyone, welcome to another episode of Swipe Right Sundays, where we test out products to see if they're worth it or not based on functionality and the price to performance ratio. And in this video, you can see that we have a Switch 2, we have an iPhone, and we have an iPad Pro. And I'm going to show you how this one dongle will let us use all three of these devices in conjunction. Let's talk about it. So unless you've been living under a rock, you might be aware that the Nintendo Switch 2 did release earlier this week, and we're not going to go into a full review quite yet. If you do want to check that out, head over to 9to5Toys, the YouTube channel, to see our thoughts on the Switch 2. But I did want to showcase how you could use your iPhone and your iPad in different ways with your Switch 2 starting with the camera functionality. So if you've been following along, the Switch 2 did get webcam functionality by getting an external webcam. And of course, Nintendo is selling a first party version of it for I believe 50 or $60, and you're able to use that as a normal webcam, but that's just a USB-C enabled webcam. Meaning that most, I'm not gonna say any, but most USB-C enabled webcams will be able to be used with the Switch 2 and use all those different webcam functionalities like head tracking and all the different mini games and Mario Party and things like that because we do have a secondary USB-C port on the top of the Switch 2. So of course, my first question was, can you use your iPhone camera as a webcam for the Switch 2? And the answer is yes, because of this HDMI to USB-C capture card, which I've showcased for four, five, six years now at this point, because this allows me to use my iPad as a dummy display, which we'll touch on in the second part of this video. But let's quickly set this up to let you guys know that yes, you can use your iPhone as your webcam for your Switch 2. So you can do this in multiple fashions. Of course, you're going to need this because this is going to go directly and plug in to the actual Switch 2. And then you're going to need either an HDMI to USB-C cable to plug in your iPhone over to the other end of this HDMI capture card. Or you can use another kind of hub or dongle, which actually would be more beneficial to be able to keep your iPhone charged at the same time. And I'm using one by Satechi. This isn't a review for this, but again, this one is might be overkill for this situation, but it's just one that I had laying around. So the first thing you're going to do here is actually plug in this end of the USB-C port to your iPhone. So boom, it should be recognized pretty quickly. It is recognized by the iPhone right there, as you guys can see. And then we'll put this off to the side here, kind of use this as a stand that I've been using. And the next thing you wanna do is grab an HDMI cable. This one is the one that came with the Nintendo Switch. So I'll plug this into the dongle itself. And then you have your HDMI capture card. You're gonna plug that other HDMI cable into this capture card. And then you're just gonna plug this into the USB-C port on the top. And as you can see right there, it did show that the camera was recognized right away. And now to test this out, you can actually go into your settings to figure this out altogether. So if we go into our settings, then you're gonna to wanna to go to controller and accessories. And if you go midway down the settings menu, there's gonna be an option to test the USB camera. But the next you're gonna to have to do is actually open up a camera application. And the best way to do this is to find a camera application that doesn't have any sort of buttons or that goes clear to make it easy because basically what you're doing is you're mirroring the display of the iPhone into the USB-C camera situation here on the Nintendo Switch. So if you use the generic iPhone camera, technically it would work, but basically you'll have the entire iPhone camera UI in your webcam whenever you are playing, which is something that you want to avoid. So the free one that I'm going to suggest is called True Visage. I don't really know what that means. But it's basically just a camera application with no other buttons and these buttons do go away as you can see they are gone right now and now what we're going to do is actually just press the test usb a button and there it is everybody as you can see it is working i have the camera right here if i move my hand you can see that it is recognized by the nintendo switch and again there is a little bit of latency with this camera but it's not the end of the world because this isn't meant for those 4k ultra high def zoom calls this is meant for just a view into somebody's face when you are using the game chat features and you are collaborating with other people through the Nintendo Switch. So this is a way to use your iPhone camera or pretty much any camera for that matter or any iPhone or smartphone camera via this HDMI capture card. And again, if you do wanna make it a little bit more streamlined and not use a dongle like this, just get an HDMI to USB-C cable. But I do think the dongle is important to be able to then also charge your iPhone through this because you can plug in a USB-C power cable to this dongle right here and then also get the same functionality right here. And like you could see, it does work which is very cool. So now we have the iPhone being used as a webcam for your Nintendo Switch 2. Let me know if you guys wanna give that a try. I'll leave this HDMI capture card down below. Okay, and now I wanna quickly go over this. I have a full video on how to do this. If you guys wanna see what it's like using it with the Xbox or a PlayStation, I'll leave those linked down below, but we'll quickly do it for the Switch 2. And again, all this power is coming from this $20 dongle. There are some higher quality capture cards out there. I believe Elgato has one, but I think it's like 100 or $150. 
to give you that 4K 60 output. This one does give you 4K 30 supposedly, but it's more like 1080p, so do keep that in mind. But for $20 and very low to no latency, and for casual gaming, this one is more than enough. But this is going to rely on a Switch 2 dock. This doesn't work with the dongle. I did try it with that Satechi dongle, but it does rely on the dock. So what you're going to need to do is, of course, power on your dock, put your Switch 2 in the dock itself, use the HDMI cable on the rear of the dock, then plug that HDMI cable. This is the same HDMI cable that came with the Switch, so we're not buying anything extra here. And then you're going to need to download an application called Orion. Orion is what transforms your iPad to be able to take video in and turn it into that dummy display. Again, another free application, so it's not gonna cost you any money. I'll leave that link down below for you guys to try out. And then, all you literally have to do is plug it in via the USB-C capture card right here. Give it a second. All you gotta do then is turn on your switch. The little light turns on, you hear that little ding, and then voila, you have your switch too, plugged in. And now I'm using the controller. This is the Pro Controller right here. And we can use our iPad as a dummy display for your Switch. So if you do want a larger display on the go, or maybe you carry your iPad all the time, and also third-party manufacturers are making smaller docks to be able to bring this on the go a little bit more because it might be a little tedious to bring all this together, but it is good to know that maybe if your TV in your living room is taken up by somebody else, maybe there's a show going on, you can pull out your iPad and just use the HDMI cable and the HDMI capture card to use your iPad as a display to play Mario Kart World to your heart's delight. But that is basically all you need to know. So you can use your iPhone as a web camera or any smartphone with this capture card right here. You can also use any iPad as long as it has a USB-C in with the HDMI capture card and it can download that Orion application. You can even use it with a MacBook too if that's something that you want to do because you can download iPad apps on a MacBook now. So that's another thing to know. But that's going to do it for this video, everybody. For me, this HDMI capture card is an absolute no-brainer for $20. Even if you don't use it that often, the fact that you can do all this with just this one little dongle is a game changer for me. So definitely check it out. I'll leave a link down below. No affiliation with them whatsoever. And it's on Amazon, so it'll get to you in like a day. But that'll do it for this video, everybody. Let me know if you learned something new. Let me know if this was useful. Leave a dolphin if you did make it to the end of this video. And also let me know if you were able to pick up a Switch 2 on launch day and what you think about it so far. If you want some more Switch 2 coverage, head over to the 9to5Toys channel because I'll be doing some videos over there for them. But until next time, if you guys want to watch more videos like this one, click on one of these right here. Until next time, I'm Fernando. Peace, everyone.